search continues today for a Kenton County man. He's been missing for nearly four decades. 17 year old Randy Sellers went missing back in 1980. Now investigators say a key clue may have been misinterpreted by a confessed killer. Nottingham side Jasmine Miner spoke to the students who are helping to bring the family closure. Duct tape boots and bottles of bug spray. He could be out there. We're searching a new area. This could be it. Expanding their search. These Townsend University students are sifting, <laughs> digging for clues to find Randy Sellers. Look for bones or we could look for, uh, we were looking for maybe keys or an ID that was buried. Confessed serial killer David Evans told police he buried Sellers here at the park 39 years ago even giving them a map to where the body was, but Sellers was never found. We are hoping that we find something to bring back to the family. They, I cannot imagine like what they went through in the past 39 years. Now park rangers realized the map could have been read upside down, so they brought in these guys. They had found some new hot spots, so she called us out to help her because they didn't really have the manpower. At first they say it was for the experience, but after listening to Sellers' mom and dad. She's saying that they were pushing so hard to find this because they both have cancer now. So once they pass, they want to make sure that no one's forgetting about their Randy. And it's their last day, last chance, and could be the last hope anyone has at ever finding him. Even the deer bones that we find, just like this could be him, you know, this could be him. In Kincaid Lake State Park, Jazza Minor, nine on your side. The Towson University students will head back to Maryland after they finish their work today. There's no word whether the search will continue if they are unsuccessful today.